We need to do some. <coughs> okay. So you have to pep up, look energetic yeah, and cute. Look, I know. Should we both do the, or should I just do it? You got it, you got it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to another Rena K YouTube video. Today I'm here with... James. The James, and we are doing a little <coughs> dip. You need to not clear your throat while... <laughs> So today we're doing something a little different. Usually it's me struggling through a card, but James accidentally demonstrated his talent in making me an anniversary card. And it actually was pretty popular in the Stamp Junkies group. I had seen a few comments referring to him as a keeper. I'd have to agree. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you he is going to show you how he made this card, and I'm not going to tell him any names of the products he's using, so we'll see what he uses to put this together. But it looks very nice, and I am intrigued to see how he did this, so we'll get into that. Okay. Let's begin. Wait, we need to give you your official... Oh, Sorry. Gina K designs apron, and I've seen you eat sushi on my desk, and I know how easy it is to drop things that can ruin my desk mat, so oh, I don't want you to also to ruin this sweatshirt. Here. Okay, so this is a little off-center. Please excuse this. There's a lot of products in here. You gotta stop yawning. Can't be Sorry. tired and stamp. So James, here are the products that I discerned you using in this card project. Would you like to go over some of them? Sure. Right here. We've got our score buddy. We have some Gina K art stencils. This is some raindrop stencil. It's very nice. We've got the littered and lovely stamp set. Why don't you look at that one more time? Lettered <laughs> and lovely. My bad. My bad. We've got a nice Gina K die set right here. And which ones are you using? I'm going to be using the large and medium sized die cutters. We've got our Versamark, some Rena K Rose Gold Unicorn Dandruff Embossing Glitter Stuff Powder. We've got this thing. We've got <laughs> <laughs> some colored paper. And what color is this? I think pretty pink. Boy, it is passionate pink. Oh, okay. My, my it's way more heart than just pretty. There's passion in there. So I'm making a, a game time decision. I'm gonna have James use the same inks I used in the last video. This is bubblegum pink, sweet corn, and sea glass. I love the card James made in every way and I think it's perfect and doesn't need to change, but I'm going to change the inks because they do blend a little better. <laughs> okay, so this is your first step. All right, so I started out with my score buddy, as I mentioned before with this nice little tool that pops out. Um, and we go right... Nope! No. Wrong one. Is yeah. it? Is it the star? It's the star. Alright, well we're going to do it, the score buddy, right here with this <laughs> nice little star that's set up. Not too hard, not too easy though, to get a nice little crease going. This way? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I may, may have made that mistake when I made your card. No, it's okay. It's perfect. I love it. It's a nice unripped, unfrayed edge on like this other one that might have been a little frayed on there from my aggressive creasing. If you're wondering, yes, I'm setting up in between takes. This was this is much more organized than when I did it originally. I have no idea where anything is found in Rena's craft room. Anyways, for the next part I trimmed this uh little piece of paper that's going to be going on the front of this. It's trimmed just a little bit on the edges so it looks nice and even on there. It's got a nice little white some border. Layers. Yeah, some layering. So first thing I do is I take a little white scratch piece of paper just so we don't get any ink on the her nice desk mat. We're the, gonna, her. the her. The <laughs> her. We're, we're going to take a piece of tape, roll it so that we can double side it. And then stick this down right on this little scratch piece of paper just so we can get all our excess ink down here. Next step, take your stencil, put it over, make sure that you can see the whole piece of paper inside the stencil. Looks like that stencil wasn't cleaned the best. I couldn't <laughs> find your tidy towel when I was making the card and I had to improvise with paper towel. <laughs> So, and then you can go ahead and tape down 
the stencil. Really using that liberally. I hope this is all no right. limits, huh? <laughs> I like to really make sure that it's secure. Now that we have everything down and it's not moving anywhere, we need our beautiful ink daubers. It's a generous term. Whatever. For dirty. Dirty. So I'm going to use a pink one. This one because it's that's what I used last time, and then this one because they kind of match the colors, and you can't even see any of them. They're right here. Let's begin with the pink. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to do that last. Let's start with this tealish, pinkish color. Pinkish. Or not pinkish, <laughs> bluish. My bad. Colors are hard. It's okay. Colors are hard. Ink it up nice and good, nice and wet, and then just kind of lightly keep pressing it starting I started in the corner you can start wherever but I don't know if it's proper technique but I did wipe it a little bit and it can wipe a nice you are free to wipe all right cool that looks beautiful thank you very much forgot one of the number one rules I gotta cover your ink pads oh is that why it's dry and barren no I shut it last time no, I definitely shut it last time I would never disrespect your stamping products. Right in the middle. You have a very sporadic technique of doing this. What's like the the best way to ink these? Is it to press it and really just go at it? Yeah, I, like I, that's that. what I do. You just press it. Yeah. Well, I do circular motions. You circular like I motion. I don't pick it up. I think padding oh, it is okay. what makes it like padding it along the blue part. I think is good. But you know what? This is your show right now. Your technique is just as effective. Now I'm going to add the pink, press it in there, roll it around. This one seems a little dry too. You know what? It's winter. It's okay. All of us are dry. It's okay. I'm Don't pretty, blame I'm pretty the ink dry. pads. We actually have a wind chill prediction for next Wednesday of negative 22 degrees. That's without wind chill. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> it's always good when you find out good news. I just ordered Mishi little boots, so hopefully he can walk in them. Okay, so this right. is the most critical part of making videos, is the reveal. If it's not perfect, you don't need to feel bad. Just know that this is it could have been better. <laughs> this is going to be beautiful, don't you worry. Watch. Boom. Wow. Look at that. Wow, that is perfect. Okay, so I took the liberty of cutting out these... Oh, there's a little, like, circle in there. Do you see that? Yeah, that's okay. You know what? Whatever. We're rolling with it. But I cut these out so James didn't have to because my desk is kind of a mess and there is actually a bag of marshmallows blocking the big shot from working properly. So you know what? I just decided to do it. All right. So as we have set up here, um, Rena has cut out my circles with the dies. And now I'm going to emboss the greeting on the front. And what greeting did you pick? I picked the thank you for all that you do. I do so much. <laughs> and I've got some thermal web tape to attach the two die cut pieces of paper here. So. Oh, you're going to do that first. I, um, do actually no, I should, now that you say that, I should stamp it first in case I mess up because it's inevitable. So. Here we go. We've got our little bag thing of dust, whatever this thing does. <laughs> We're going to shake it a little bit on the top, pat it around, I don't know. Give the dust a little blow, and then it'll be nice and ready for your Versamark. So I took the Versamark. I'm going to stamp the greeting, and then we're going to put it as centered as possible on my die cut piece of paper. This one's a little hard because it is a big greeting for this circle, but we'll make it work. It's a manpower. Take that off and then you can kind of see it. It looks pretty, pretty clear. So <laughs> now you can use the yeah. inside of the card. I don't know how you did it last time, but this I is how we're going to do it this did time. did it just on another piece of paper. Oh, good. Well. But this is perfect. We can do this, and then literally all I got to do is just pour it all over. This is James' same process when I ask him to put a little bit of salt in whatever I'm mixing. Dump that all off, and boom, look at that greeting. I'm going to do this right now because I got I'm it. sweating. Okay, I got okay. It. I got it. Where is the heat thingy? The heat thingy 
is right here. We'll be using our Marvi embossing heat tool. And Give it a fat zoom in on this so that we can see the, the science in action. Okay. Oh yeah, there it goes. Mm. Isn't this fun? Don't you feel relaxed? I'm so relaxed. <laughs> oh no. Okay, here we go. Finally. Focus. That is perfectly in focus. <laughs> can you see that? Thank there you. There we go. Look at that shine. Now for some of the final steps. We're going to take our handy dandy thermo web tape dispenser device. I don't know if there's a specific technique you usually do, but I'm just going to apply it generously so that we have no unstickage. I think that looks pretty good. Boom! Perfect! So, first off... Yeah. I'm going to attach this colored, blended, beautiful, stenciled piece, masterpiece, with the thermoweb all the way around the perimeter. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. You can pry it off. There's still time. Thermoweb no. tape. You're not gonna? It's perfect. I think it's perfect. A little bit of mistake is beautiful. <laughs> now for the final touch, I'm gonna take a bunch of these little sticky dot pop-up things. What are these called? What are these? 3D foam squares. 3D foam squares. Okay, way off. We're gonna just stick them all over haphazardly. Do you think that's good or should I go more? You decide how much you want. Okay, because this is exactly what I did. You don't want that card facing a lot of high intensity to lose its greeting. And then just start ripping these bad boys off. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Boom, and once you've accomplished that, and put your final little stick. You can put it down in the center, you can put it up more towards the top like I did. You could put it even at the bottom if you're if you're feeling adventurous. But I'm gonna put it right smack dab in the middle for this one. Boom. This is the second most important step is pushing your trash out of frame. Push the trash. And that is the finished card. That was so easy and beautiful, James. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, guys. So this is the finished card. You have to smile. <laughs> You're just angrily staring at the camera. <laughs> Look happy, fun, crafting. So this is the finished card. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to James make it and his little male brain figuring things out. Not little, big male brain. Big male brain <laughs> figuring things out. So I'm not gonna announce last week's giveaway in this video because we just posted the video and I wanna give it more time for people to answer. But we are still doing a giveaway in this video that I will also announce with the other giveaway. And we are giving away this Beautiful apron worn by James Tidd. Smells like James Tidd. You decide if that's a good or a bad thing. So this was a wonderful gift from Jennifer McGuire, my queen, I love you. Say I love you. I love you. And this was designed by Laurie Willison. If I'm saying your name wrong, I'm sorry. I still love you for making these. And we got an extra somehow in my suitcase back from Creativation. So we're going to give this away. And would you like to include anything in this? Yeah, I'll probably put something in the pocket of it, but. Yeah, you get a nice It'll little be a note. Surprise. So you get an apron in this giveaway, and you get a fun special note from the James. So what should be the question? What's your favorite kind of music to listen to while you're stamping? Sure, we'll go with that. What is your favorite thing to listen to while you stamp? Is it a TV show? Is it music? Is it the sound of your boyfriend yawning and scratching right in your ear asking what you're doing? But yeah, answer that question and you could possibly win the apron that James is wearing right now. So thank you guys for watching this video. It was very fun to make. I hope it was fun for you. It was so fun. This is the most fun he's ever had in his oh, yeah. life, right? Oh, yeah. He's contractually obligated to say that. So, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully. And, yeah, I never know how to end them. I always end up just saying, and yeah. Say, okay, bye. Okay, bye.